So in this video, I'm going to go over our deep translation view, which is accessed after pausing a translation. So let's find some text to translate, and you may need to zoom in, or uh, if the text seems a little blurry, you could always tap the screen to force the camera to refocus. So we'll pause this text here, and then we'll press the ellipsis to access our deep translation view. And now you see we have some food photos here. And then we also have from left to right, we have some other features such as sharing, which you can save the image to your camera roll or send it as an email, uh, share on social media, whatever you like to do. Next up, we have our copy button, which will allow you to copy the recognized text, the pronunciation, or the English translation. In the middle, we have a star, which will add the translation to your list of favorites. Next to that, we have the pronunciation button, which will read the text for you. And then finally, on the far right, we have our frowny face, which is our error reporting button. So if the translation doesn't look right to you, or you know how to correct it or something, you can send it to us, and we can use it to help improve our translation accuracy.